Hello everyone, and welcome back to the conclusion of this week's Popper Ponderings. Again, my name is Austin, this is Popper Ponderings, and you are watching this officially on the Mana Base, www.themanabase.com. This week we were playing Damned Cycling, we, went, we did pretty well, we went 2-1, and one, uh, losing to Green White Slivers, they had kind of not drew us in the second game, I think we maybe played a little bit. Uh, incorrectly in game one there's probably a spot where we could have I'm gonna go back and watch that game because it is kind of eating at me here how did the deck do the deck did very well um, we saw against these like mid-range decks they really just don't have a lot of room to maneuver especially if they can't get on the board early we saw that against that with against the mono black deck we were able to get out ahead on life and then they could never really pressure our life total enough to where it mattered and then we were able to just sit and wait for our combo to come and it eventually came Against Tron, they really didn't have the, the prerequisites um, tools to deal with our combo, and we kind of punished them for that in that regard. And I think in game two, they kind of played it a little bit wrong. They played a little loose, tapped out for the temporal spring when I had the combo in hand. Um, the good. The good was actually Fume Spitter felt a lot better than I thought it was going to. The creator of the deck said that it was really only in for Delver, but it did a lot of work against that black deck, and... Uh, I could definitely see it becoming maybe a four of somewhere in the list. Uh, the other cards that were good, Pit Keeper turned out to be a very good card. Uh, Crypt Rats was obviously insane. All the Cyclers, there's not a lot, of, a lot really to say. Not of the Bone, you know, gained us upwards of 50 life sometimes. The deck was just very solid and it does exactly what it's supposed to do almost every game. Over to the sideboard, obviously we didn't play against Affinity again. I want to start just shaving down on this stupid artifact removal. I feel like I have it in every single deck, and we just never play against Affinity. And then the week I don't play any artifact removal, I'm just going to play against Affinity for three rounds. So it, it's a lose-lose situation. The snuff outs were fine. We didn't draw any of them, but they would have been good. The moment's piece was good against Slivers. The Duress were good against the Tron deck just to let us know we were safe to go off. Crows and Tusker, again, was fine in the matchups we brought it in. And we didn't play against any matchups where the Shrivel was good. Now, normally I would do a pack opening. But I'm not going to do that. You know what I have? We have two packs. And that means I get to go into the box of Modern Masters. And we get to open two packs of Modern Masters. Not right now. We get to open them in the box opening vid. I have an entire box of Modern Masters that I'm going to be opening in a video that I'm going to be filming right after this. It's going to be going up on Friday, so make sure you check that out. And again, if you like these videos, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. I'm trying to get to 500. That would be awesome. We're going to do a sweet giveaway once that does happen. So make sure you tell all your friends if they like Popper. Give us a like, give us a subscribe every single Thursday. We're going to get some modern stuff going. we got some limited with my buddy Joey, and we got uh, some standard with my buddy Chris. So make sure you check us out, www.themanabase.com, or just here on YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe. Friday, box opening of Modern Masters. How did I get it this early? Who knows? Ah, it's crazy. But I will see you next time. My name is Austin. This is Popper Ponderings, and uh, happy brewing.